Thank you, Gypsy. Our next performer, Whitey. materialized on the walk in front of the post office out of nowhere. I tell you, when I seen that, I really thought I was seeing things. All right, George Bell, the star left field. I didn't have time to think about it though because he was walking up and down screaming swear language so loud it made me flinch from clear on the other walk. He appeared to be in a rage trance, if you know what that is. <laughs> oh, George, I said, coming across toward him. What is the matter with you? Where am I, he said. Henrytown, I said. What is Henrytown, he said, turning in circles, looking. And how in shit's name did I get here? I was at the ball field. Over at the high school, I said. No, Toronto, he said. Exhibition Stadium. I was just there. And he flew off the handle again. George's body, all right, was bent at the waist in half, and he was screaming stuff about Bruce Kaisen, the old no-name right-hander who played for Boston. Son of a bitch been throwing at us all day, he said. He said, when he beams me, I go at Kaisen. I go at him. I must go at him. While George was carrying on, I saw Mayor Speedy Kuznetsa and Randy Plum, the coroner, come out of Village Hall and look down at George. All right, they were looking at him. I actually saw this and I sort of made a gesture to them like everything was okay and Speedy leaned over to Randy and said something. The former had some documents in his hand and an oval sweat stain down his golf shirt. I was making gestures at them and also looking at them. Guys, and you piece of shit, George was carrying on. And then, right before my eyes, so help me God, Bruce Kaiser materialized on the walk next to George Spinner. <laughs> Don't, pretty please, don't ask me how I could recognize Kaizen. I just could. And Kaizen, without hesitation, smacked George across the head with his pale brown ball glove. That action sent George's no-flap batting helmet onto the walk and it uh, then bounced. George's hair was all kind of dented. Uh, he went with a, then a karate action toward Kaizen's winger, which failed because Kaizen sidestepped him and leveled, his, it, uh, leveled George with a massive, massive hayman. <laughs> then, right as the haymaker came down on George, on my everything, they vanished. Both of them, George and Kaizen, gone. All right. I'm standing there looking, all right, and uh, I look up and look at Speedy and Randy, and I sort of gestured to them a couple of times. I think I was basically uh, pointing with my fingers was what I was doing. I run up the sidewalk at a decent clip and ask them guys if they had seen the two ball players vanish like I had because I saw them. Looking right at Jordan Kaiser. Well, Speedy and Randy were acting real weird and standing there, and I kept saying, Did you see that? Fair, Jordan, Kaiser, they just vanished. Did you see that? Come on. You know, kind of getting into it. And Randy goes, <laughs> Randy says to me, I don't know. I my I'm look my angle wasn't quite, I'm talking about my line of sight wasn't quite there and I just don't know 
and he made some gestures to that effect. And uh, <laughs> Speedy then said something too. But as he did, a guy on a Harley went by, and I didn't hear him. And then he went up the street with his documents. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. 